What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day. Let's get to work. I gotta do that interior. You can see there's like shit. There's my cup holders, right? So everywhere you look, there's just a little bit of dingy. Overall, the car is clean. I'm gonna take out all this interior, start cleaning it, see what happens. Probably pull out the rear seat belts. I don't know, things like that. So let's just get started on it. We're gonna have to clean the interior for sure. So I wanna pull out all the seats and see if I can't pull out that carpet. Let's see what we find underneath. It's really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's a bunch of trash, so let's start picking. Let's pull the other one out. I'm gonna take this pedal, dead, dead leg pedal, whatever the hell it's called. So I took off, picked it up. It wasn't, it was only maybe a dollar and change. That's not too bad. I tried to keep my car pretty clean, but that was it, guys. A like, dollar and change, some air fresheners. Oh shit, I found a pen. What the hell? I got some cool nail clippers. I lost these. A little bit of trash and a pan cap. It's not too bad. I need a partner. Bro, hey. There she is. Got it out. Oh, not really. Haven't even begun. The dash needs to come out next, guys. But definitely some sweeping and some uh, maybe 78 cents in there. All right, guys. So check this shit out. Not too bad. 1993, right? Now I gotta take off these rear seat belts. It, surprisingly enough, there wasn't a, a whole lot of grime other than like in a couple of the corners Which I'll be able to hit up with some cleaner I was thinking I was gonna have to hose this bitch out and like use some heavy cleaner and shop back and But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna wipe it down. It looks good guys So I decided to put a real small amount of really hot water in all the concentrate of the, not all of it, but a good like cap full of the wool light and a good um, six to 10 pumps of the uh, hand, not the hand soap, but the uh, dish soap. And I'm gonna try to put that on a small amount and just spread it all around and just put that in the sun, let it soak for a while, keep it wet, and then try to really get to work on it with the brush. Of 
And then the trick, the magic, the magic eraser. Anything that's like scuffed, like little black scuff marks that like you can never get off, little magic eraser does the trick. Just don't overdo it in one spot because it'll scratch. It's, I guess it's got fiberglass in it or something or some dude, I don't know. All right, now I'm just gonna let it dry. Came out pretty good. So I'm realizing that the lighting really sucks right here, guys, but if you look really hard, You'll see where there is a line that's, and there's a little bit of stainage right here. And then like on the edge where there's wool light and hot water in this bottle. And I'm gonna try to control how much liquid I'm actually putting on it. I'm gonna use a scrub brush. But I'm gonna let this liquid soak in for a little bit first. Now I'm just experimenting too guys. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't really want to hit it with the hose if I don't have to. Out of this, as I was spraying, see that? The top layer, like something spilled on it. I don't know if it was laid down when it happened, but I'm gonna have to use the hose for that because look at that shit. That's nasty. That's something I didn't expect to do. It's the top of the headrest. Shit. I'm committed. Okay, let's just do the whole thing. Look at the difference there. You can see, I can see the yellow like stuff coming off, water coming off of it. It's just like grease off of like this handle right here where I'd always grab, you know what I mean? And where people grab like by the handle right here, there's some grime and like I just started rub rubbing on it and I got all kinds of grimy stuff on the Magic Eraser. So surprisingly enough, Magic Erasers work on cloth too. I noticed on the other cushions, that there was some still yellowing and those were the ones that I was just misting with water. Cautious with it. The other ones I used just straight jet and I got a lot of it off so I'm gonna do the same with this. All right, this is where we stand. Everything's clean. This thing is like completely dry and the driver's side actually turned out pretty solid guys. Like I'm a little bit of darkness to it, but overall, like, comparable. I'm super happy with it, you know? These super wet right now. Alrighty. Wow, look. Like. See, that's wet. I'll dry my hand on this. Overall, I was happy with the way they came out. Came out looking pretty good. They're just darker right now. These, big difference. Super happy with them. Those two, 
big difference. They had some yellowing on top. I hosed them off again and went and scrubbed off something. Now they're a little damp still, but when I first took them back about 20 minutes ago, they were already dry. So they're just, I was afraid to uh, hit it too strong with the hose and I actually just missed it in it. Once it dried, I could tell that it was like starting to show some yellow. So I just hit it real hard with the hose and it sheeted that yellow out. So yeah, but um, they're already drying. All right guys, just remember, I wouldn't have done all this unless I had at least a week to let my car sit and dry and these parts sit and dry. But I, I guarantee you this is gonna be dry by tomorrow afternoon cause it's gonna be 88 tomorrow. And in this little concrete area in my backyard, it's like walled in by like the house and the fence and this garage. So it's like, it gets hot, all right? So this is gonna be 88 at least probably going to be like 98 around this area and right now this is already majority dry so tomorrow we'll check it out and uh we'll see where we stand all right guys thanks for hanging out um if you guys haven't already throw a comment down below if you have any questions um please hit the like and uh, share if you can but uh today we were able to get all this done i know it was in the, the best video the best content remember guys i build cars we build, we build speed and handling and performance. So it's like, but I like building clean shit, guys. So with that being said, this shit's clean. And uh, I'm happy with the, the way it turned out. So today is the second day, full day. To the squeeze, there's nothing. But I am going to leave it out again tomorrow, half the day. And then I'll pull it back in. But the carpet turned out pretty good, guys. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to start working on the carbon fiber hood. Depending on when um, I should expect that uh, delivery of my 2K clear. But guys, I, I still have a lot of parts to throw on the car. Fuel rail cams. Fuel pressurizer. I still got to do timing belt, water pump. All gaskets. Like, guys, so the motor is getting pulled out of the car. With that being said, the motor has to get pulled. Cams need to be put in. All new seals, all new gaskets, new rear main seal. And um, throw the cams in. And if I can get to porting that head, not like I know I'm going to be able to, but that would be the dream, right? Port the head, send it to machine shop, get it all cleaned up, and then throw the cams in there. If I can get a hold of some valve springs and retainers, which I'm looking at on Amazon right now. So just um, hang with me, guys. I got a lot of shit to do on this car. So please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.